this is my simplified root repair technique. So here I've taken a shaver and taken the insertion for the posterior horn of the meniscus, in this case the medial, down to a good bleeding bony bed. I pass my sutures with my Nova Stitch Plus, anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral to give me a Mason Allen type stitch pattern. And then I've utilized my ACL guide to place a guide pin right in the middle of the ebernated bone so that I can clearly get my meniscus back down to a bony trough. So once I retrieve my passing suture, in this case I'm utilizing a Chia suture passer as opposed to just a suture itself, I'll go ahead and do a standard suture sorting. So grab the eyelet, grab all the sutures, pull them out through the portal as I'm not using a cannula to sort them from the soft tissue. And then I'll pull them all back down inside the tibia. I utilized a 55 degree angle to obtain the placement. I just aimed at the tip of the guide so that I would be able to put my pin right in the center of the trough that I've created. So once I pull the sutures back down into the tunnel, I simply tie these over the tibial cortex. In this case, I'm utilizing a Parkus GFS Mini Naked Button. What that does is it allows me to pull on one set of sutures, utilizing two to tie one down. Then I'll go ahead and tie the second set of sutures over the button. You can see I'm pulling it down in the trough, and now I'm well fixed. It's down into a bony trough. It should heal in there nicely, and we have a nice, stable root meniscus repair.